Event is starting. You're live. What's up, guys? All right, so I think I'm live now. Can everyone see me and hear me? You guys got to let me know in the chat. I know it's a little bit delayed. Uh, so today is the Apple event, October 22nd. They're going to be announcing all kinds of new stuff. Uh, it's going to start in about 14 minutes or so. Uh, I'm still waiting on the chat to update here. Uh, so this is my live show covering the event. The reason I'm saying this is because you're going to be able to watch it after the fact because it posts on my YouTube channel um, afterwards. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing is uh, covering the event and talking about what they announced. Apple is actually doing their own live stream of the event. Uh, so you'll be able to watch it on Apple.com. The reason I'm doing this is to kind of... looking tired. <sighs> Good job. There's my own ad uh, <laughs> for my live show. Uh, the reason I'm doing this... Uh, is to give my live thoughts and reactions of what's happening at the event. Plus, uh, I'm not at my own house right now. I'm in New Jersey, and I may not end up doing a recap video after the fact, so this may end up being my recap video. All right, so yeah, I'm getting the chat updates now saying it's perfect. All right, good. So the audio is good. There's no echoing, nothing like that. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I'm going to be doing the live show, talking about what Apple's announcing. I'm also going to be watching the live show here. Um, and I'll be posting pictures on this live show, for instance, like this. Yay, it worked! Uh, so there is the little image Apple released for uh, the event. Uh, actually, that's the one that you can find on their site right now if you go to apple.com. Uh, after the fact that you're watching this, it may not look like that. <clears throat> Plus, another reason I, I can do this is because the actual keynote of the event, once it's over, if you couldn't watch it live, will be a while before it gets up. Not too long. They normally are pretty quick with it. I'm also going to be covering it live on Twitter, at Ty's iPhone Help, so if you want to go check out any of my updates there, uh, or follow me on Twitter, I'll put the link down below. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited for this. So, let's talk about uh, what Apple is going to be announcing. Alright, so, of course we're going to see the new iPad, iPad 5. We're going to see the new iPad Mini. Uh, the iPad 5 it's going to have a new design. It's going to look more like the iPad Mini. Probably going to update the specs in it, stuff like that. Uh, possibly, there's been rumors that it may have the fingerprint scanner. And you guys can it can add your own uh, things that you think is going to happen in the, the chat or the comments of this video. And I'll be reading through those. Um, <clears throat> so it may have a fingerprint scanner. That's been one of the rumors. Uh, the iPad Mini 2 uh, may possibly have a retina display. There's... I've heard multiple, like, well, some people say it's not going to have a retina display. Some people say it will have a retina display. I think they're going to add it. it. Every other device they have does, so why would they not add a retina display to the iPad mini? It's not the cheaper iPad. It's just a smaller version of the iPad, if you want that size. Actually, I have mine sitting right here. I absolutely love my iPad mini. I will definitely be getting the iPad mini, too. Love it. I use this thing all the time. Absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite Apple products, like, as far as the design. And I've got this, like, nice case on it which like locks my smart cover in. That'd suck if it fell. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so yeah, two new iPads, iPad mini 2 and iPad 5. Uh, that's going to be coming. I'm sure they'll also update the specs in iPad mini. Maybe giving us more information and possibly a release date for the new Mac Pro. Uh, MacBooks may be getting updated. I'm hoping personally for a MacBook Pro Retina update because uh, I've got the MacBook Air and a, an old MacBook Pro, <clears throat> which is sitting right here. Well, sticker on it. Um, I want to merge those two computers and have the new MacBook Pro Retina, but I've been waiting for them to upgrade it uh, before I go out and buy it because I don't want to buy a computer and then in a few days they update it or a month or whatever. Uh, so that's why I've been waiting on that. <clears throat> also, somebody, a lot of people saying the quality is perfect. Yeah, the internet connection here I'm, uh, at Jersey is like pretty freaking good. Um, so I, I expected the stream to go pretty well. Also, uh, let's see what else. OS uh, 10 Mavericks, they're going to be announcing that, uh, hopefully, and giving us a release date of that. They may even release that today. I don't think so. I think they're going to wait a little bit before they release that. Now, as far as the release date of the new iPads, it's probably going to be about a week, like seven days uh, until uh, the actual, when you can actually go out and buy it. They may do pre-orders on them, possibly not. Uh, either way, I'm excited uh, to get the new iPads. I'm going to get both of them. Make sure you guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this now and you don't know who I am, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do tech videos and mostly related to Apple products and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so that way you don't miss any of those because most of the new products they announce, I'm going to try to get uh, most of them unless it's the Mac Pro. I may not, I, I, I've thought about getting the Mac Pro, but 
I don't feel like I don't feel like spending thousands of dollars on a Mac computer. I'm using my iMac right now, which I brought with me because we drove here to New Jersey from North Carolina, where I'm from, and uh, I can put it in my back car and like put some pillows and blankets and stuff over it, keep it protected, uh, and it works just fine. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna actually go to Apple site. Uh, I'm gonna be watching the live event right here. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm getting coverage. I'm watching the live event from Apple, which you guys can watch too. You don't have to watch me. The reason I'm suggesting you watch me, uh, actually, let me, let me tweet in Facebook this saying I'm live. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, so the reason I'm doing this live is because I want to give my thoughts and stuff on it, and I want to announce it on video. It's a lot easier for me to do this on video uh, as they're doing it, and you can follow along with me rather than following Apple's thing, which may be a good bit delayed. I'm going to be following the live blogs from like Engadget, The Verge, or whatever sites I find. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to be watching Apple's event, which should be starting soon. Yeah, right now it is saying available shortly. Please check back soon. Uh, now, I'm using this program Wirecast. So, I don't, I'm not sure if there's a way for me to show... I can show my desktop. I don't want to show my desktop, though. Also, if you don't, if you can't follow through the whole live stream, I'm gonna be covering it on Twitter at Ty's iPhone Help. Uh, so if you guys want to follow me on there, uh, you can do that. Let's see. Add desktop. Kind of scared to do this. Launch, la launch desktop presenter on this computer. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> so I think what I'm just gonna be doing is uh. It's just showing pictures and stuff because I don't want to show my desktop. I got stuff on here I can't show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the Apple event to start, which should be starting in about seven minutes. So I'm going to head over back here to the chat. I know it's going to be a little bit delayed, the chat is, but what do you guys, and somebody says a new iPhone. I don't think they're be announcing a new iPhone at the event. Probably not. Um, let's see what else are you guys saying. Uh, what camera am I using? It's really good quality. I'm using the uh, iSight camera or FaceTime camera on my Mac, uh, my iMac. It's probably just the, the reason it's good quality is because the uh, the internet connection I have is really, really good. <clears throat> I can definitely tell that YouTube has made improvements on their live streaming service. It looks a lot better. I'm trying to uh, scroll through the chat and see what you guys are saying. Let's see here. No, it's fine. I can play right there. I think. I don't know. I might have headphones in. <clears throat> okay, so why didn't you update your iPad mini to iOS 7? I just haven't got around to it yet. I don't really care to. I don't, I only use my iPad mini, really, uh, for, like, notes and videos and just regular browsing and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't use it as much as I do my phone. <clears throat> All right, so should I plug in headphones for the uh, Apple event, which should be, again, still available shortly. I'm going to, I'm going to plug in headphones here. I, I'll do one. My girlfriend's actually going to be sitting here uh, taking notes for me like she always does, so thank you for that. She sits here and takes notes with me during the Apple event, so that way, after the fact, I can do my recap video, but I may not be doing it this time, so this may be my recap video here. I'm still deciding, depending on what's going on in the house, because they're working and banging and stuff like that going on. Thankfully, there's not right now, but I'm sure right as I start the stream, it's going to poof, 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 poof. All right. So we got about five minutes till the event. Uh, yeah, iPad Mini S. Hmm. That's a... I got to turn my messages app off. It's giving me alerts. Maybe I'll just mute the volume. That'll be better. Uh, I got it. I got it. All right, so what was I just talking about? Oh, iPad Mini S. They could call it iPad Mini S. I'm thinking more just the new iPad Mini. Like they're not gonna call it iPad Mini Two. It'll it'll be the iPad Mini Two, but it'll just be the iPad Mini, and it'll be a day version of it. Or iPad. Well, no, I was gonna say iPad Mini Red, but they're not gonna do that. All right, so I guess I don't need these headphones in this second because the Apple event hasn't started yet. You guys need to let me know in the chat when uh, your Apple event starts on your, like if you're watching it live. Will you buy the Retina MacBook? Yeah, I will be, if they do update it, I'm definitely probably going to be buying it. Now, I'm not 100%, but most likely. 
Uh, have you thought about getting a Mac Pro? I thought about it, but I, I don't think I'm going to. That's way too much money for all for really to get it spec out like you want it to. It's literally thousands of dollars. Well, I mean, they haven't announced the price of the new one, but but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, they're gonna go about. Yeah, here's a preview of what's going to happen. They're going to go on about all their sales and stats and how well the iPhone did and all this stuff for the first few minutes, and then they'll get into stuff. I think uh, they may surprise us with something at this event, though. I think there's going to be something that's going to be a surprise, like that we aren't really expecting. Uh, also, I didn't mention this before. They may update the Apple TV. Uh, that would be nice. I want to see the Apple TV with Siri. That's what I want. Instead of this, I don't have the Apple TV remote with me. Do we even bring the Apple TV remote? I hope you did. If you grabbed I brought my Apple, Apple TV, TV and the TV back there, if you can see it, but I don't know if I brought my. Can you use your iPhone though? Yeah, yeah, I can, I but. Anyways, uh, oh my God, it'd be so nice to to not have to use that stupid remote. What if you could just be like Siri, change the channel or put this on? That would be awesome. Are they expecting? So let's see. iPad Mini C, no. Well, I have heard somebody say that they may do iPad Minis in colors, but uh, I don't think they're going to. I think it's going to stay the same. What if uh, they do? Sorry, what if they plastic do? Plastic iPads, no. No, no, no. The silver, the space gray, silver, and then the rose gold for all of them. Like that. You mean champagne gold? Champagne, mm, I don't know. I mean, they may do three colors of it, but I, I doubt it. I don't know, maybe to, to be in line with all their other products. Alright. Spinning your iPhone like that. Yeah, I have a habit of spinning my iPhone like this. I've got this good case on it though. It's uh, Tech 21 Impactology and it's got this like material in here that's supposed to be like really like fall resistant. Uh, so yeah. Three minutes left. Actually, two minutes left until the Apple event starts. Uh, we could they announce the iWatch at this event? Who knows? I doubt it. I seriously do doubt it. But uh, that'd be awesome. I don't think that's coming for a little bit though. Uh, somebody says I hope there's one more thing. You, you never know. What if they come out and be like Apple TV, not the little box. Here's the Apple Television. Uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. Also, but you never know. You never know. The Apple event stream is up, so mine's not working. So I just commented. Plus the chat's delayed. I don't. I don't see it right now. I'm sure there's a lot of people trying to watch it, so their stream may be laggy. Apple does have a ton of servers, though. Uh, so we'll see. One minute. All right, I'm about to load up uh, the live streams. Or not the live streams, the live blogs. Let's see. It looks like The Verge is doing a live video feed, right? Hmm. Okay, I was on the wrong page. There we go. I was about to say, are they just doing a live show? They're not doing a live blog? All right, let me get Engadget loaded up. Oh yeah, another thing, new iPods. This is normally Apple's iPod event. Do you guys think we're gonna see new iPods? We possibly could. By the way, the event starts in less than a minute, or that's the time it's supposed to start. Um, yeah, do you guys think that they'll announce new iPods? iPod, could, why do they need to make new iPods? I mean, I know a lot of people still use iPod, but I think it's, I think it's a dying product. I think the only reason that they would make the iPods is because of the generations that don't have phones yet. Yeah. Like younger children. Because but everybody of, has phones I know, now. Kids Even nowadays young are, kids. are having phones, but like kids that aren't able to get a phone, but they want something like a phone. Yeah. That parents are just restrictive or something. Somebody but. said the event is postponed. Nah, I don't think Apple would do that. <laughs> Oh, that'd be weird, though, if I was like, yeah, we're going to have to delay the event for a couple hours, guys. Uh, we're having some technical issues. Did you see the picture of the outside of the area? There was like two little Android Oh yeah, people. there's two little Android uh, dudes dressed up in costumes out front of the Apple event. Alright, so the Apple event should be starting any second now. 
And here we go with the video. Lights going down. A hair. We're getting ready to start. Alright, so this is going to be a little crazy because I'm going to be covering it live here and I'm going to be covering it on Twitter. So give me time to update both of them. Bear with me. I'll let you guys know how it's going on. My Apple event is still not started. Apple, you need to start the live stream. Step your game up, Apple. This is yeah, look at look at this, Apple. I am beating you to you guys on live stream. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. The Apple event is starting now. Now I uh, I'll link back to my live show so people know where to come. Oops, oops, oops. I'm losing everything. There we go. Alright, so who is ready for the Apple event? Alright, so right now what they're trying or what they're doing is uh, showing a video. It says we're starting off things with a video asking how anyone can make anything perfect. How, Apple? How? This one's all about design and crafting around one's intentions. Alright, so they're just, they're showing like a preview video right now. Uh, what do people want to fill? The first thing we ask is, what do people want to fill? We start over. We are, there are a thousand no's. Uh, I don't know what this video is about, really. I guess I may understand it a little more if I was watching live. I think you can you can also watch this live. No, I think you can watch this live right now on Apple TV. Also, that may actually work better, but I don't have time to set up my Apple TV and stream it there. Um, so Tim Cook is on stage. Uh, he's looking chipper. And Gadget says, "I'll go ahead and show you a picture of Tim Cook uh, on stage." This is cool because I can just I can. Uh, drag and drop the pictures from all the sites, and then, uh, there goes the banging, <laughs> as soon as I start my live show. Sorry. Oh my god, that's gonna be bad. Uh, but yeah, there is, uh, Tim Cook right there. Can you guys hear that banging? Oh, freak, this is gonna suck. Bear with me, I'm sorry, uh, this is the best I can do. Alright, so there is Tim Cook. All right, it reflects how Apple makes the best products in the world. So that's basically what that video is saying, how they make the, the best products. Of course, that thing starts immediately right <laughs> no. when I start my event, when the actual event itself starts. Tell them to take a break <laughs> for like an hour. Hopefully you guys can't hear that, but I'm sure you can. For anyone curious to what it is, it's just renovations that are going on in the yeah. house, so we can't really control it, unfortunately. <laughs> so bear with us. Alright. Mm, For me, I, I see you guys in the chat saying that uh, the Apple event live stream has started, but I'm not seeing anything. I've refreshed the page a few times, and I'm not seeing anything. But if you do want to try to watch it, you can give it a shot at apple.com. Um, Their servers might be completely yeah. flooded right now. Okay, so Tim Cook is running over the press reactions to the 5S and 5C. The press loves them, says Tim. So people love the iPhone 5C and 5S. I heard some stats saying that the, the iPhone 5C, uh, what like the iPhone 5S was selling 2 to 1 to the iPhone 5C. Like the iPhone 5C isn't doing that well. But... Which is a fail for Apple, but really, compared to any other phone out there, it's killing the other phones to one individual phone. Alright, so they're going to show a... Uh, they sold 9 million by the end of the week in making it the biggest iPhone launch ever. Alright, so I don't know if that's iPhone 5S and 5Cs combined, or if it's just one of them. But they've sold 9 million. I guess it's combined. 9 million iPhones. Uh... I wonder if that's taking into account the other phones, too. Uh, oh, I doubt just, just the I doubt that weekend they sold that many yeah. other iPhones. All right, so i got to tweet this out. They sold 9 million by the end of the weekend, making the biggest iPhone launch ever. <clears throat> All right, so now they're showing a brief video of the Apple retail stores. And... Uh, yeah, that's right now. The first part of the event is a little slow. They always just go over stats uh, and say what's going on with the company and talk about how their retail stores are doing and their sales and all that stuff, which is the boring stuff. But but they get through it pretty quick. 
most of the time. I still cannot watch the uh, cannot watch the Apple event live. I don't know if you guys can. Yeah, I've reloaded a few times. Hmm. Is anybody getting the Apple event uh, live on their website? Not not using the Apple TV, but using it on their website. <clears throat> Try using Safari. Yeah, I am using Chrome. That's a good idea. Good idea. All right, so I give uh, Safari a try. All right, so yeah, they're still showing this video of the Apple retail stores. Uh, I'll actually, oop, I went back. It's just showing all the people like holding their up up their new iPhone five Cs and five Ss and the crowded stores and stuff like that. I got no more juice to power me through this. <clears throat> All right. So Tim Cook is back on stage. Now they're showing uh, the iOS 7 icon. I'll show you uh, what you're missing out on right now. Give you a little picture. I would have, one time in my life, it's on my bucket list, I want to go to an Apple event and see like how it is in person. All right, so that's what you're seeing right now. All right, 200 million in the first five days. Uh, that is, uh, I think, iOS 7 updates. Both phones ship with iOS 7. The reviews have been tremendous, according to Tim. Yeah, pretty neat. Hopefully, my iPhone battery will hold up. That's what uh, the people from Inget have said. So, yeah, 200 million devices upgraded to iOS uh, 7 in five days. Now, that's 64% 60, uh, of their devices running iOS 7. So 200 million iOS 7 devices. That's including the new iPhones too, which shipped with iOS 7. <clears throat> Is there a way for me to stretch? Bananas. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Alright. There are now... 200 million iOS 7 devices. 64. I haven't even messed with iTunes Radio. No, I haven't even used iTunes Radio either. There's already apps out there that do it better. That's had experience and stuff, you know what I mean? For years. Alright. Now he's talking about iTunes Radio, a new way to discover music, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you guys know about this. This is stuff they've already announced. Again, they're going over all the other stuff. Get to the new stuff, Apple. That's what we want to hear about. We don't want to hear about the stuff you announced at your last event in September. I'm trying to fix my little pillow here. I got a pillow on my chair. Make it more comfortable. All right. Uh, 20 million users have listened to iTunes Radio, so I, I guess they're doing obviously pretty good. Uh, now, or there are now more than 1 million apps in the App Store that have been downloaded more than 60 billion times. That is ridiculous. 1 million apps in the App Store that have been downloaded over 60 billion times. Times. Tweeting this out for you guys just uh, catching along. So at Dyes iPhone if you want to follow me. Let me uh try to load up the Apple stream now. There we go. See if I can actually watch it in Safari. Then look at I'm being biased. Yep, of course it's working in Safari. <laughs> Not in Chrome though. So if you guys want to watch the actual Apple event, I use Safari. I'm going to go ahead and pop my headphones in here. Why not? Give myself more of a distraction. I've only got a live show going on, following two live events, tweeting, and watching a live show once. That is multitasking. 
So right now they're going over, this is hard to talk and listen to what he's saying. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that actually. I may just follow the live vlog. So I'm watching a live show right here. So he's going over uh, the new Macs. He's showing the new MacBook Pro, the new iMac, uh, and then the new iWork apps and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I can already tell that uh, it actually looks like it's it's pretty up on par with, uh, it's a little bit delayed with actual live vlogs I'm following. So this is going to be, if, if you're watching this on YouTube, it should be a little bit ahead of the Apple event. They're talking about competitors. I think they're talking about Microsoft, about how they're making tablets into PCs and PCs into tablets. Who knows what they're going to do next? I think Apple's Apple's uh, doing it right with the tablets. <laughs> iPads by far are my favorite tablet. All right, so uh, Craig Federini is here to talk about OS 10 now. It is Mavericks time. All right, so it's time to talk about Mavericks. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to listen to this while I do it, but it's gonna be tough. Maybe if I put both earphones in. All right. So now we're talking about Mavericks. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a picture for you. So there we go, Mavericks. Again, this is stuff they've already announced. They're just going over everything again. Mavericks is supposed to be really nice, though. Um, it's supposed to, like what he's saying right now, I'll, I'll go over it. It's, it uses what is only in front on your computer, which saves battery and, uh, and stuff like that. It makes your computer run better. Because it's only running what is the main window. If you've got windows behind it, they're kind of just like idling there and not using power and stuff like that on your computer. I said it'll run faster and save battery. So he's talking about the battery life, how much better it makes it. Wow. So he says if you're using a Mac and you use Mavericks or you update to Mavericks, you're going to get an hour extra of, of web browsing and then an hour and a half extra of uh, iTunes like movie playback. That's what he said. Uh, so you'll actually, if you update to Mavericks, you'll get more battery life. It'll extend your battery life. Then they got the new feature called compressed memory. Yeah, that's like what I was saying earlier. They like pretty much take all the stuff that's running in the background that you're not using at the time and put it to the side and smush it. So that way you can focus on only what's running in front. So it's more efficient. So they get better graphics also. Again, the same thing with graphics, it's just more efficient. It'll give it exactly what it needs for the graphics. It won't use too much, it won't use too little. So yeah, this, this is just the boring stuff right now. I mean, not that OS, I'm. Um, 10 Mavericks is boring, but they're just going over stuff we've already heard. They'll get into this stuff soon, don't worry. Alright. Let's check the chat while we're, we're bored right now. Due to high volume comment, loading is disabled. Click here to continue loading comments. Wow. You guys are talking like crazy.
My chat is like updating ridiculously right now. <sighs> I'm reading through the comments. Sorry, I blanked out there. Oh, another thing about Mavericks is you have tabs now in the Finder, so that's so much better. I hate when I'm in Finder and I want to drag and drop a file to AirDrop, I have to go and open up a new Finder window. They're fixing that. Uh, yeah, Maps is coming to uh, to Mac now, so you can actually pull up a Maps app uh, on your computer. Actually, let, let me pull up the image on there. I'm sure they got it. So now you, you got the Maps app, so you can pull up directions on your Mac, and uh, and then you can send it right to your phone automatically. So here's what that looks like. There's the Maps app, plus you got iBooks, so now you can read books on your computer. That would be really annoying, but you can do it if you want to. And I'm, it syncs up with your iOS devices and so I'm sure, so if you're reading it somewhere. Now they're going to show a demo of Mavericks. I'm really excited about the map, so that's pretty cool. So that way you don't have to, if you want to pull up something before you leave the house, you can go on your computer, pull it up there. When you get in the car, it's ready to go. You don't have to get in your car and be like, hold on, let me, before you take off, I, let me pull up my directions. You can have it like ready to go way ahead of time. That's really cool, especially if you travel a while. Like I do like road trips and stuff. That's nice. So right now he's just he's doing a demo of uh, of Maverick, showing you some of the new stuff. I'll show you a picture of that. So this is what uh, they are seeing right now on stage. <clears throat> That's that Craig dude, Craig Fernini or something like that. <laughs> I don't know how to say his last name. Oh yeah, and then you can organize content by uh, tags. That's what he's showing this second. So like when you're saving files and stuff like that, you can tag it, and then it's a lot. It's pretty much an easier way to organize your files, like automatic, not automatically, but to keep your files organized. Like put a tag in them, so you can search for a tag, and then you see all the files under that tag, which is pretty cool. My dog's back there on the bed. You guys can see him. It is easier to organize with tags. <clears throat> All right, now he's showing. Oh yeah, this is cool. So now, if you use your Mac and you get notifications up in the top right corner, which right there I think uh, it'll pop up and you'll say hey you get a new iMessage which is pretty cool because I'll get a text on my phone but if I'm on my computer it'll pop up right here and I can reply back now you don't have to go in the messages app you can hit the reply button right in the message let me see if I can find a picture of that because that's pretty cool yeah, here we go so uh, this is a feature I'm really excited about because I actually do use messages a good bit uh, on Mac because pretty much everybody I talk to ha uses iMessage I don't talk to people who use Android phones Psh, forget them no, I'm kidding I use Android phone until I broke it. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. You can reply right there to text messages on your computer. <sighs> Alright, come on, Apple. Move it on. We've seen this stuff. Let's get to the new stuff. Come on. Man, I wish I had this stuff when I was in school. Yeah. <laughs> this is really cool. Uh, iCloud Keychain. So it's going to save your passwords on the iCloud. So that way when you go to a website... No matter what device you're using, it'll automatically know your password for it. That's cool. Now he's just showing Safari. Some updates to that. When do you guys think Mavericks is going to be released? I think, I don't think today. I think it's going to be a little bit. Not a long time. Put the cam towards the, sh the show. Hmm. 
launch desktop presenter on this computer. If anything happens right now and it crashes, that's why. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to show my desktop screen. All right, let's see if I can do this desktop presenter. Let's go in select region. Okay, I can do this. All right, let me open up a new window. Actually, since it didn't work in... All right, I'm gonna show you guys the live stream. Safari, let me open up Safari separately. I guess, I, I love my Mac. He's still showing stuff on Mavericks. He's showing the calendar right now. He's making us sit through all this stuff again. They better at least be like, and you can download it today, right now, on the App Store. I'll be updating as soon as I can. All right. Safari, open. There we go. All right, I'm trying to get you guys the live stream so you guys can watch it here, and then I'll just I'll comment over it. That way we can watch it together. All right, there we go. Now let me see. Select region. Change region. Press return. All right. So now, I think it's only possible through go. deep you infrastructural and enhancements. And hear me. And so, in the last Let for the last the several comments. years, You're watching we've been on a mission. Right now live. We've re-engineered our development process so we can put out regular major releases that renew your Mac all the time. And we've reinvent, reinvented the way we distribute thing. OS X. So now this upgrading your so OS can, is as easy as downloading an app you guys can from the Mac the App Store. Here. But today, we we're going to revolutionize pricing. Because the days no of spending hundreds of dollars to get the most out of your computer are gone. Today, we announce a new era for the Mac. Because today we're announcing that Mavericks is free. Mavericks is free. Alright, so you guys go to make sure. Everything's good. Alright, sweet. So now we can both go. Free is good. Mavericks is free. So we're doing free in not a small way. Whether you have our latest release, Mountain Lion, or even if you never upgraded and you're still running Lion, or if you're a complete laggard and you're still back on Snow Leopard, in a single right, you know, step you guys, update, you, guys can hear the you can get to Maverick. Things. And we wanted this to run on as can many Macs as possible. Live so whether you have yes. a Mac Mini introduced in 2009 or even an there iMac so now can you hear me in and 2007, the chat? Sound good? you're entitled to Mavericks. Oh, yeah, I got my headphones and again, in. It's available for free, and the best part, it's available today. Speak up a little. It's echoing. Go out and get it. Wow. All right, so Ma oh, Mavericks is available today. All right, let me tweet that out. Mavericks. Well, thank you very much. I'd like to hand it over now to free Phil to tell and... you a little bit about the MacBook. Thanks. Thank you, Craig. Mavericks is free and available today. Well, good morning, everyone. I have the great pleasure to talk to you about MacBook. The MacBook lineup is the best lineup of notebooks we have ever had. And as you know, this summer at our developer conference, we introduced an entire new generation of MacBook Air. It is the best we have ever made, faster with incredible all-day battery life. Customers have really right, fallen so in love with them. A few people still saying the video is too loud. Well, just remarkable. 
Yeah, Wired more. wrote, the 13-inch MacBook Air is as close to perfection as a consumer. So if you guys want to, uh, you can tweet this out and like say this is where you can watch the Apple event. Well, unless you wrote this. The greatest well, I've got it actually streaming right there. Made. Or this. Mind blown. <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> it is safe to say that the MacBook Air may be the best reviewed Mac we have ever made. All right, so now he's talking about the today we're MacBook happy Air. To now turn our attention to MacBook Pro. As you know, the MacBook, right, Pro, MacBook Pro is the first personal computer with a retina display. A display with the pixel so small that at a normal working distance, your eye can't discern them, and the images are gorgeous. And now we've brought out both a 13-inch and a 15-inch retina display mm -hmm. MacBook Pro. Okay. And both are having major Now, where's the updates? Today. Where's the updates? First, let's start with the 13-inch yes. MacBook Pro. Is this MacBook Pro Retina? It's an incredible machine, and now it is even lighter. Under three and a half pounds, just 3.4. Wait, they've made it lighter? I'm confused. And the this new 13-inch is... MacBook Pro is thinner as well, just 0.71 inches thin. It's beautiful and thin and light. You are and too it's loud. it's incredibly fast too. New 13-inch MacBook Pro is powered yep. by an Intel Haswell. New 13-inch MacBook Pro. fourth-generation dual-core chip. And that chip includes Intel Iris graphics, integrated graphics that are even faster. In fact, they're up to 90% faster than the previous generation. So faster performance, faster graphics, and it gets better battery life too. Now up to nine hours of battery life for all the things you love nine to do. Nine hours of battery life. Reading your mail, surfing the web, doing productivity, and even watching movies that you've downloaded from iTunes. So if you're a fan of The Black Knight, as I am, you can watch the entire trilogy on one charge. Yes. <laughs> you can watch Black Knight, and or you can watch like the Batman entire trilogy, trilogy or so whatever on one charge. If you're a Batman fan, you don't have to hide it. It's faster, too, in terms of the flash storage. It's PCIe-based flash. That's 60% faster than the previous generation. Wi-Fi is faster, too. It has 802.11 AC. That delivers up to three times the performance over 802.11n at similar distances. An expansion is faster too. With the new Thunderbolt 2, it's up new to Thunderbolt twice as two. fast as the previous generation Thunderbolt. And all this performance and battery life comes in a brand new MacBook Pro that's running Mavericks. Craig just told you all about the incredible features and performance of Mavericks and the work of hardware and software together to deliver an incredible notebook experience. All right, so the, the price. previous generation 13-inch MacBook Pro started at $14.99. We're really happy to tell you today that this new 13-inch MacBook Pro starts $12 at $12.99. That's for a configuration with a 13-inch Retina display, 2.4 gigahertz, dual-core i5, 4 gigs of memory, Iris graphics, and 128 gigabyte of storage. And best of all, it starts shipping today. What? It starts shipping today. Next. Yep. Now, is this the MacBook Pro Retina? They haven't Next, let's exactly talk about specified the 15 inch that. MacBook Pro. This all new generation MacBook Pro is powered by an Intel Crystal Well chip. This is a fourth generation quad core processor. It includes Iris Pro graphics. Now, this is integrated graphics that for many tasks, over the same performance. Guys in the chat, this is the Retina, graphics, right? But it does it at a quarter less power. And for those who do want discrete graphics, there are models with the new GeForce GT 750M. And this is a graphics part with two gigs of video memory, twice as much as before. So again, faster processing, faster graphics, and longer, longer battery life as well. Up to eight hours of battery life. <laughs> the new 15-inch MacBook Hush. Pro also okay. includes the faster PCIe-based flash. It also Sorry, includes the dogs. faster 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. It also includes new Thunderbolt 2 storage. So it's just better across the entire system. And of course, it comes with OS X Mavericks. Now the previous generation 15-inch MacBook Pro started at $21.99. I'm thinking, guess what's coming? <laughs> the new MacBook Pro now starts at just $19.99. Wow, $19.99 said $23. I think that, that is the Retina, right? If I'm not mistaken. 
That's for a configuration with a 15 inch retina yes. display. Yes. Yes. Two gigahertz. Quad yes. Core, I7. Yes. Eight gigs of memory. I'm getting that. Oh my God, my dog farted. It stinks really, really bad. Storage. And best of all, <laughs> it's also shipping part. today. No. <laughs> Yes. As you know, we work really hard to make all of our products environmentally friendly, and these are both as well. NEG Star 6, EP Gold, arsenic-free display, mercury-free display, BFR-free, PVC-free, and highly recyclable with all that beautiful aluminum and glass. So this is our notebook lineup, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro with a retina display, two display sizes so on 15 each, 15 and 13 inch. and 13 on Air. I may end up getting a 13. I don't Pro, think I need the 15. Starting at just $9.99. So by far the best lineup we've ever had in incredible upgrades across the whole line. And that's our news for MacBook today. That's pretty sweet. So just to recap, let me mute that. I, I think you guys can just hear me now that I don't have the, the live show announced. All right, so now they're going to the MacBook Pro. They announced two new MacBooks. Uh, the MacBook Pro uh, Retina 13 inch, 15 inch, where they update all the specs and stuff like that. Uh, and now they're going on to the Mac Pro. Let me switch to that. New design. It's anodized aluminum enclosure with diamond cut See what they're say about edges. This. So many innovations, like the cooling system that is a single fan. The previous generation had eight fans in it, or the innovation of the unified thermal core at its center. It is a computer that packs an incredible amount of power into something that's one eighth the volume of the previous generation. It's simply remarkable. It is our vision of the future of the pro desktop. God, and today we'd like to tell you even too. more about it. So inside this new generation Mac Pro is the fastest processor we've ever put in a Mac. A new generation Intel Xeon E5 comes in four Six, I don't know eight, if I'm going to buy it today. I mean, designs, I really want to. 30 megabyte L3 caches, super fast buses, a PCI Express Generation 3 bus. Not probably right now, but after the event, Inside you'll be able to. Inside it is the fastest memory we have I was going to be talking about all this Mac. stuff, but. 1866 megahertz DDR3 ECC memory on a broad four channel controller, massive bandwidth and up to 64 gigabytes inside. Probably one of the most remarkable things about this says, Where's the team iPad? set a goal. It'll be uh, later on. In graphics. It's the first Mac that comes standard Probably with after dual this, workstation say. graphics. AMD, Unless Fire Apple Pro, TV is nice. D300, D500, or D700 graphics. Fast buses, huge amount of VRAM. Mavericks will be available probably after the event. Over half a terabyte of bandwidth to it, and up to seven teraflops of teraflops, power. Teraflops, that's a funny word. That's power that can be used both for up graphics to seven as well as for compute intensive tasks. Sounds like something just made up. Using the OpenCL <laughs> technology that Craig mentioned earlier. Storage inside is all flash based. Simply put, you cannot put a hard drive in anymore that's as fast as this flash. This PCIe based generation of flash is 10 times faster than a hard drive if we put one in. 1.2 gigabyte per second reads, a gigabyte per second writes, up to a terabyte of flash storage. It's an incredible storage system. And if you want to expand it, well, external expansion begins with Thunderbolt 2. Can add expansion chassis, storage arrays, and so much more. It has massive throughput. You can bond them together with channel bonding. You can have up to six, six devices per port. And this is the heart of being able to create a true next generation video work through model with a desktop computer, 4K video, 4K video, 16 times the pixels of 1080p HD video. You can have up to two displays plus a third HDMI display for broadcast monitoring. There's never been a system that can do what the Mac Pro will be able to do for 4K video. Expansion, it has a really cool feature. When you move it, there's a motion controller, and the I.O. illuminates to show your way. And there's a lot of great I.O. Dual audio Did out. Did you guys see that? Four Sorry. USB 3, six Can tell that someone's two, everything. Dual gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, the new generation HDMI, up to 4K, Bluetooth 4.0. They're getting through this stuff pretty quick, though. AC. This is packed and built for They're expansion. only 35 minutes into the event. Now, we have amazing customers. 
and we built this so that they can do things that we can't imagine. And we've been dying to get a few of them and really look at it and their hands on it and so they could tell us all what they think of this new Mac Pro. So I want to tell you about three examples. First, video editing. We have a new generation version of Final Cut Pro 10 designed to take advantage of this new Mac Pro. We put one in the hands of Dean Devlin, filmmaker. You may know of him from Independence Day. I love how small it is. And leverage. So little. He got a chance to use the new Mac Pro, and what did he have to say about it? The Mac Pro makes real-time 4K video editing a reality. It's more powerful than I ever imagined, and it will change the way I make movies. Photography. We have a new version of Aperture designed to take advantage of the throughput of this incredible Mac Pro. Put one in the hands of Lucas Gilman. You may know him, this amazing photographer, works for Sports Illustrated, National Geographic. Here's what Lucas had to say. The new Mac Pro cuts my editing time exponentially, giving me more time in the field shooting, which is where I need to be. Last, I music. hope so. It's Love supposed to be better. Shot. Looks so cool. Who doesn't want to be sitting there next to that Mac Pro? He just said it's so cool. Who doesn't want to be we sitting there beside that? Stuart Price, music producer for none, none, Mac Pro. no one less than Lady Gaga, Madonna, and the Killers. <laughs> Here's what Stuart had to say about it. The new Mac Pro is blazing fast and shockingly quiet. You have to not hear it to believe it. This is the perfect computer for the recording studio. They seem pretty excited. <laughs> and we can't wait excited to get this for a trash more can. customers so they can <laughs> show us what they can do with it. So the new Mac Pro will cost Here it goes. $29.99. $29.99. That's for configuration with a 3.7 gigahertz quad-core Xeon, 12 gigabytes of ultra-fast DRAM, dual FirePro D300s with two gigs of video memory each and a quarter terabyte of high-speed SSD. Now, if you know what D300s cost and that high-speed flash, you're actually super impressed with this pricing. It'll be available before the end of the year. And like all of our products, we're making it environmentally friendly. For a pro desktop, it's Energy Star 6, EP Gold, BFR free, PVC free, and highly recyclable. So recyclable that I'm sure if you don't want one, someone else will die to get their hands on it. <laughs> it's also energy efficient. It's up to 70% less energy consumption than the previous Mac Pro. And this chart proves so it. So they still can give us specific it, data when it'll be idle, released. Consumes just 43 watts. Compare that to the previous generation Mac Pro. It's incredibly quiet, too. This is really amazing. The new Mac Pro just puts out 12 decibels at idle. The team hit their goal. They set a goal to make it no louder than a Mac Mini sitting on your yeah. desk. That's astonishing for this kind it's of performance. It's going to be really quiet. The Mac Pro is an amazing new generation desktop for pros and all of us. And we're really proud that it's designed by an incredible team at Apple in California. It's going to be assembled here in the U.S. Yeah, they're making it in Texas. In fact, there have been over 2,000 people spread across 20 states helping us to prepare to build this incredible machine. My dog's machine. drinking water. And it's built with technologies and processes unlike anything we've ever done. We've created a brief video to give you a peek. All right, so they're going to give us a, what it's like a preview. To the new Mac Pro. At the, uh, the thing. At Apple, manufacturing and design are inextricably linked. All right, so I'm going to turn the volume down on that. Can you guys hear me now? Let's go to the chat. All right, I'm muting the, uh, the, the video, but I'll let you guys watch it. So this is the, I think you can only hear me. This is the new Mac Pro uh, that they just announced. They're showing the, the like video right now of how they make them. Pretty freaking good price, twenty nine ninety nine. Pretty much three thousand dollars. That's that's a good price, I'd say. I don't think I'm gonna be getting it. God it looks crazy. I'm I'm more excited for the new Retina. I'm now I got to decide what specs of Retina I want. Uh, plus, oh, it looks sweet. Plus, if I'm gonna get the thirteen inch or the fifteen inch, I'll probably go with the thirteen. Just because I'm buying this for more of my travel computer. That's a good price, though. It's not cheap. 
but it was <laughs> it's definitely cheaper than what I, I thought it was or, or what it was going to be. But I mean, you're gonna have like it's that's the starting price. If you're gonna go buy this computer, you're gonna want to upgrade it, and it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of money. It's not gonna be three thousand dollars. You could double or triple that really really easily. All right, so yeah, this I guess I'll I'll continue showing the the event itself, like the live stream from Apple, um, and then as they're showing like these demos and stuff, and when I can, I'll just I'll. Add my little input over it. I think that looks amazing, though. That's a really nice-looking device. Like, it really does. I mean, it looks like a trash can, but <laughs> doesn't matter. That's a, that's a really powerful trash can, too. <laughs> Assembled in the USA. Yeah, there's, gadget, they're making them in Texas somewhere. And Gadget says it looks like a Darth Vader machine. <laughs> a Darth Vader machine. All right, so let's go back. It looks like he's back on stage to talk now. Yeah, should be able to hear him in just a second. So that's the new Mac Pro. And that's our news today okay, for Mac there hardware, all new generation MacBook Pro. They didn't Pro. give a ship date though. That's and what I'm kind of let down about. Next, I'd like to turn it over to Eddie Q. Thanks, Phil. All right, Eddie. What up, Eddie? It's great to be here this morning to talk about, apps. Talk about apps. Our apps teams hmm. have been busy updating both our creativity and productivity apps. And these are the biggest updates ever. So let's get started with oh, iLife. God. This is the amazing apps that let you do great Get to things the good with your stuff, movies, Apple. your music, We've seen a lot of this photos. stuff. And we've got brand new versions of iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand, all redesigned to take advantage of iOS 7. And we've got brand new versions for the Mac, designed to harness the power of Mavericks. They're all 64-bit, so you get fast performance, and of course, they're integrated with iCloud. Now, we don't have time to go through all of the Thank new features, you. but I want to highlight just a few. Let's take a look at iPhoto. Browsing your photos has never been faster or smoother than now, thanks to 64 bits. And if you've got iOS, oh, I said December. iPhoto okay. has got a brand new look. It's clean, it's beautiful. I it's say a great way to enjoy your favorite photos and albums. The new Mac Pro. Now, photo okay. books have been hugely popular, that, but they've only been available on the Mac. Well, now we're bringing it to iPad. And with iPhoto, it lays out your book, and with multi-touch, you can easily move your photos around or change the pages to make them look exactly like you want. It then uploads it to Apple, we print it, and we send you a beautiful coffee table book right to your home, and all of this right on your iPad. Ooh, we get a coffee table so book. So a great update to iPhoto for both Mac and iOS. And we've got an amazing new version of iMovie with a ton of cool new features. We've completely redesigned it, make it cleaner, simpler for iOS 7, making it easy to browse and share your videos with your family and friends. You don't need to create a project. You don't need to edit. You can just select and tap share. But of course, iMovie lets you take your videos and create incredible movies. And we are bringing desktop class effects that let you speed up or change the speed of the video to picture in picture all on an iPhone or an iPad. On the Mac, we have a new design, makes it even better to browse your library and share your favorite moments. And of course, it's really easy to speed up or slow the video, which is great for the high frame rate video that you capture on your iPhone 5S. <laughs> So iMovie's getting updated. We've got an update. a new cool feature called iMovie Theater. And this is like having a private screening room right in iMovie. It takes all of your movies, your trailers, and your shared clips and puts them in a single place for you to see. And because it's integrated with iCloud, when you create a movie on your iPhone, it's automatically available across all of your devices. And of course, even on Apple TV. Next, GarageBand. This is the most popular music creation app in the world. And like iPhoto and iMovie, it's getting an all new look for iOS 7. We're going from eight tracks to 16 tracks. And if you have a 64-bit device, you can now do up to 32 tracks of music. So 32 tracks on an iPhone or iPad, it's incredible. Your favorite album was probably created in 24 tracks. On the Mac, we've got a new look new design, 
and a new sound library that gives something for everyone, whether you play the keyboard or need a killer guitar amp. But there's one cool feature that I'd like to show you right now, and I'd like to bring up Xander Zorin up, up, up to show you. Thanks, Eddie. Good the morning, everyone. The new really pretty nice. I'm excited about that. I'm just thrilled to be able to show you the brand new GarageBand. Now, thanks to iCloud support, you can start a song on your Mac or even your iPhone or iPad, and you'll always have access to the latest version. So here we have a little song idea, and it's built around a guitar riff. Why don't we open it up from iCloud? Somebody tweeted me and says, and let's give it a the, new, uh, the new iPad will be 64-bit. Possibly. They did it with the iPhone. The iPad 5, not the yeah, iPad I think that has some promise. That. What would make it a lot more exciting is some killer drums. Now, there's a great feature in GarageBand called Drummer, and it gives you a virtual session player that will play along with your songs, but takes your direction. And it's really fun, really easy to use. Uh, to use Drummer, you just go and create a new track, and in addition to all the options you've had before in Garage. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute that and switch to me. So this guy is just going over uh, GarageBand. I don't think that many people care that much about this. I'm, I'm sure there are some people out there that care about it, but he's just showing that you can add new tracks and stuff like that uh, to GarageBand. Um, but yeah, uh, so far we've had new Macs. We've talked more about the Mac Pro, uh, and they've went over everything else that they've uh, they've already announced. And the new iMovie, I'm excited for that. That looked pretty nice. Uh, let me pull up that picture right there of that. I'll give you another look at that. So it looks like we got a completely new redesigned iMovie, which is right there. Uh, it looks pretty nice. There's a new theater mode. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to use that. I use iMovie a lot for my, my vlogs, not for my tech videos, which are on this channel. I use Final Cut for that. I wish they would update that, um, but I don't see them doing it at this event. So what could we see after this point? We could see, uh, we could see the new iPads, which is obviously going to happen. Maybe new iPods. They may still talk about the Apple TV and update to that. And uh, yeah, so I'm just right now they're just talking about GarageBand, still demoing that. A lot of people are saying put it back to the the stream. I will once they get onto some more interesting stuff. He's just showing a demo of it right now, which isn't that entertaining. Uh, yeah, six, uh, somebody mentioned a 64 gigabyte iPad. I, that would be cool. It'd be cool if they put the fingerprint scanner in it. I'm not sure if they will, but I did hear somebody, uh, Kevin Rose tweeted that they're gonna have they're gonna add the fingerprint scanner not only in the iPhone 5s, which they did. They're gonna also add it in the new iPad, possibly even the new iPods, the Apple TV with maybe like put a fingerprint scanner in the remote. That'd be nice than rather having to type your password all the time. That'd be pretty sweet. You just had like in the middle of your thing, it had a fingerprint scanner right there. All right, so he's showing something called drummer. Right, it looks like he's, that other dude's coming back on stage now. Or nope, it's still the the Eddie dude. Let's switch back to the uh, the stream now. New versions for and iOS. New versions for the Mac. Okay. And best of all, we're making them all free with the purchase of any Whoa. new Mac or iOS device. Sweet iMovie. Uh, GarageBand and uh, iPhone are all free now. And these updates are with all the available purchase of a today. new Mac or iOS device, and available today. What we can get the new I, uh, iMovie? And that's iLife. We can't wait to see the amazing things that you're going to do with it. Now, our iWorks team has been hard at work at updating all of our productivity apps. Pages, numbers, and keynotes have all been redesigned to take full advantage of iOS 7. And on the Mac, we've completely rewritten them from the ground up. All brand new, the biggest updates of iWork ever. It's going to be great. The first thing is we've got full file compatibility. So now you can open a document on any of your devices or any of your platforms. Full file compatibility in iWork. And because it's 64-bit, it's never been faster. Now you're also going to notice a brand new UI. And the best part of this is it's easier to do things while at the same time being more powerful. So let's take a look at Pages, for example. So I'm editing a document in Pages. The keyboard comes up. Now I get a new tool across the top that makes it easy for me to tap and just change the format of the text. On the Mac, 
we've got a new format panel on the right-hand side that's content sensitive. So it shows you the right tool based on what you're doing. So let's say, for example, I select some text. The panel on the side now lets me change the style, the font. If I change and now select an image, the panel switches and now I can change the arrangement, change the border. What's great about this is we're not cluttering the screens with a lot of controls like you see in other apps. We let you focus on the content you're creating. Numbers. We reinvented spreadsheets with numbers and they're getting even better. Oops, trying to see you if I can add. You create gorgeous Jesus. spreadsheets with our free object-based uh, design. And of course, they can have beautiful charts. But what's great is these charts can now be interactive. So you can see how your expenses are changing on a quarter by quarter basis. So a great update to numbers. Next, Keynote, the gold standard of presentation apps. And we've got some incredible new effects and animations. Some of you may have noticed some this morning because we've actually been running the new Keynote in this. <laughs> Trying to do something. I think there's a way for me to. Oh, Give me a second. Fun. No one lets you do what you can do with Keynote in any other app. And there's one more feature that I'd like to show you, and I'd like to invite Roger Rosner up. Thank you, Eddie. Good morning. Super excited to show you folks the new I work. So imagine I've been working on a poster for Eddie's new there album. There we go. I wonder if there's a way to make Compile me smaller. Fire pages here. Open up this gorgeous poster. <laughs> We're just getting started. It gets better. <laughs> What I love about these apps, they are the most powerful iWork apps we've ever made, but they're also the easiest to use. So I can click on an object, and you see my format panel, it updates, and it gives me just the controls I need for that particular object. We also have styles now for every kind of object. So I can just click there, select some text, choose a style. Really easy to make my document <laughs> look just the way I want. And of course, it wouldn't be pages if it didn't have awesome image handling. So I'm just going to drag in an even better I photo. I cover it up. <laughs> you know, Roger, I was going to wear that shirt today. <laughs> Almost. Another really great feature we have is we've made it super easy to share documents with people. So I can click the Share button here in the toolbar, and we see a new menu, Share Link that. via iCloud. And I'm going to choose the email. <laughs> <laughs> and what it's done is created a new trying to figure this out. It's just put a link to that document. Playing around right with it as I'm body. doing it. I'm going to send it here to Eddie. I, I can't figure really out how to cool make it smaller. When Eddie gets that link, he can just click on it, and the document opens right up in iWork for iCloud beta. He can on any computer, a Mac or a PC. He doesn't need pages installed. He doesn't even need an iCloud account. It just opens right up. Super easy to share documents. But let me show you something. Super cool. I'm going to move over to Safari here. There we go. That looks better, right? And we introduced these iWork for iCloud beta apps just a few months ago, and millions of people have tried them, and we've just gotten over the, over the charts, off the charts feedback about how great they are. The number one piece of feedback we got in terms of feature requests was collaboration. So Some I'm of this stuff's really, really proud boring. to tell you today we are adding collaboration to iWork for iCloud. That's pretty cool. So iWork, you can uh, work with people on it now. So I just opened an exact same document in Pages for iCloud. Uh, and here I have a share button in the toolbar. It shows editing oh. this document. Right now it's just me. But as soon as Eddie clicks that link I sent him, and there he is, now we're both editing the same document uh, at exactly the same time. I'll switch to just video. Okay, go. I think we can definitely improve this, Roger. Uh, <laughs> let's think? go ahead and uh, change the text. I want to change the, go a little bit more modern here on my name. and. Uh, We'll switch it down here also. That's looking good, Eddie, but don't you think we ought to use your stage name? 
Now, Roger, you, you know, I have actually gone back to my uh, third grade stage name. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead. I, I've got this killer album. Some of these events can be really slow. And I'm going to go ahead and name it. Can I make it smaller? All right, well, I have an even better photo though on my computer here, and I'm just going to drag it in from the finder. <laughs> going to move this text object up out of the way. What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the new I work and the new I for iCloud. Thank you very much. Wow is all I can say. <laughs> uh, Collaboration, just one of the hundreds of new features available in the new iLife. So now you can create your document on your iPad, edit it on your Mac, and collaborate with a friend who's stuck on a PC. <laughs> now, others would have you spend a small fortune every year just to get their apps. But we want to do something bold, something that changes the rules of the game, and you know what's coming. Go. We're taking all of these productivity apps and making them available for free. All the iWork apps are free. Mac and iOS. <laughs> and of course, you can download them today. So, so. so brand new versions of iLife, brand new versions of iWork, the biggest updates ever and all free. And they're joining the more than 20 Apple apps being updated today for both Mac and iOS. So I hope you can see why today is the biggest day ever for apps. Thank you. Wow. That's pretty crazy because they make a lot of money off of those. People in the chat are getting so mad because I'm putting my face on it. I have a feeling it's a lot of people that don't watch my videos. They make a lot of money from those apps. It's crazy they're making them free. But it'll sell more computers. Oh crap, sorry guys. Tab. Psst, I'm an idiot. We launched iPad three and a half years How ago. How long was it like that? <laughs> with a very clear goal. Sorry. And a very ambitious objective. We called I iPad away from it. our most advanced technology and a magical and revolutionary device. But not everyone saw it this way. Some didn't see the need for it. Still others didn't think it could compete with a netbook. Who remembers netbooks? Still others doubted it would have any impact on the industry at all. <laughs> but Anyone thinks the game changer is a tool. But we really believed in our vision. And iPad has gone on to become one of the most successful products. All right, so it's time to talk history. about the iPad. And one of the most successful in the industry. And I'm pleased to tell you that earlier this month, we sold our 170 million iPads. Yeah. This is an incredible number, and I can't think of another product that's come so far so fast. Now everybody seems to be making a tablet. Even some of the doubters are now making them. But regardless of what you might hear or read about how many are bought or sold or activated, 
iPad is used more than any of the rest. And not just a little more, a lot more. iPad is used over four times more than all of those other tablets put together. And this is what is important to us. Because when you make a great product with a great experience, this is how you know it. People use it. And what's even more rewarding to us is that people love it. iPad is rated number one in customer satisfaction and has been since the inception of the ratings. And the reason is because iPad combines into an incredible experience hardware and amazing software and intuitive services into an experience that no one else can match. And iPad has become a great platform for third-party developers. We now have over 475,000 apps on the App Store. And these have been custom designed for iPad, not this stretched out smartphone app that our competitors that. are doing. No one else is close to this. But it's not about quantity, it's iPad about apps. quality. iPad offers amazing ways for you to be creative or productive or educated or entertained wherever you might go. So when you think about the combination of hardware software services in this incredible selection of apps, it's no wonder that iPad has had such a profound experience in such a short period of time. Tech Pinion's called iPad the biggest shift of our generation. But what's most rewarding and inspiring to us is all of the amazing ways our customers are using their iPads. People are saying frozen, but it's not. We designed iPad to be the best tool for the things that you do most often. But honestly, we could have never imagined all of the ways that our customers would be using them. I'll full screen it when he's not talking about something. To celebrate our customers' creativity and genius of using their iPad. And when he's showing something. We prepared a short video that I'd like to run for you this morning. All right, so they're going to show a video. I'm figuring this out. I'm getting better at this live streaming stuff. Yeah. Recording video on the iPad. For the people like saying you want the video, not me, then you, you can just go watch this stream on Apple's site. This is supposed to be me and my commentary over it. Which is hard to do, but uh, I'm getting better at it. So just showing a video of the iPad. I'm going to turn the, the audio down on that now. So yeah, hopefully they're going to announce new iPads. Right now they've just they've talked about them and talked about sales and stuff. And now they're showing this video of them of how people use the iPads. They showed a lot of people recording with an iPad. Which is awkward to hold up an iPad. Whoa, that's crazy. And on like the side of a cliff and a little tent thing. Alright. There's the ad. Let's get back to the stream. It's really an amazing video, and each of those scenes has an amazing story behind it. We want to help our customers 
create even more amazing stories because we know that this is just the beginning for iPad. There we go. And so we've been busy working on the next generation of iPad. Woo. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil back up on stage. Phil? Thank you, Tim. All right, here it goes. iPad is delivering a new vision for mobile computing, unlike anything that has come before. And it all began with this amazing 9.7 inch multi-touch display okay. and the incredible power it enabled for software. The ability to hold the internet in your hands as you surf the web and do your email and make FaceTime calls. And over just three and a half years, the team has been on a relentless path every year, the progression updating of the iPad. it with newer and better versions, each delivering further on this incredible vision of mobile computing. It's quite remarkable what they've done. And today we think we have the biggest step yet in delivering the vision that is iPad. I would really love to show it to you right, All right now. All right, show it to us, dog. There it is, the new designed iPad. iPad, thinner, lighter, thinner, more lighter, powerful more than powerful. ever before, and iPad Air? incredibly, what? excitingly new in so many ways that it deserves a new name. Ah, the new iPad Air. What? We call it, yes, we call it iPad Air, and it begins with that beautiful 9.7 inch retina display. And as you look closer, you see that the bezel around it is smaller than ever, dramatically so. That's bringing the previous generation in next to it. You can see the bezel is 43% thinner than the previous version, making it more comfortable to hold in your hand. The iPad Air. When you look at it from the side, you see how amazingly thin it is. Again, that's bringing the previous generation next to it. Oh. It's dramatically like half thinner, the size. just 7.5 millimeters thin. It's not. That's 20% thinner across the entire device. Now to make an iPad this thin took a huge amount of work over years. 20% thinner. The team thinner. has just been remarkable in finding every tenth and every hundredth of a millimeter from every level of the system, from the bezel to the multi-touch surface to the display and battery and enclosure shaving every hundredth of millimeter. And the benefits are not only making it thin, but lighter too. The previous iPad weighed 1.4 pounds. The new iPad Air weighs just one pound. What? That's crazy. That makes it the lightest full-size tablet in the world. The smaller bezel, lighter feel, when you hold it, it will be a dramatically different experience than the previous iPad. In fact, this happens every now and then. We have an Apple product that we introduce where all the words and pictures don't quite do justice to how amazing it is until the moment you pick it up the first time and feel it for yourself. And when you get to do that, you'll understand why we are so excited about this iPad Air. Now what's inside is just as amazing as what's outside. As inside is the brand new Apple A7 chip that we just launched with the iPhone 5S. And it's blown everything away in performance. In fact, Gizmodo wrote, forget the specs, it blows everything away. And it does. It's a 64-bit desktop class architecture so it is 64 in the palm bit. of your hands. It's an amazing chip with over a billion transistors. We have also included the new M7 motion coprocessor as well. So now, this pretty CPU much like performance the iPhone is twice 5S. the previous generation. And the graphics performance is double as well. We've charted that performance over time. You can see from the original iPad, which started with a very fast chip to begin with, as you may recall, and now we're up to eight times faster. Half of that performance coming now with iPad Air. And graphics performance, look at this increase. 72 times faster than the original iPad. Oh, 72 times faster than the original iPad. 
Again, half of that That's coming with right the there. new iPad Air. And you're going to feel that across so many of the things you use. Playing games, a two-fold increase. About the, noise in the, background. the ability to do great 3D rendering. Professional applications. We're opening large files and doing complex operations can be up to twice as fast. This is a screaming fast iPad. It's faster at Wi-Fi, too. For the first time, we use MIMO technology in an iPad. That gives multiple antennas, so hmm. you can get up to twice as fast 802N performance as before. We've also ex expanded the ability to have broadband wireless access in more places around the world with expanded LTE coverage with more and more carriers. And throughout the entire product, there's all the it's things that a make a great iPad camera. experience. A five megapixel EyeSight camera that also captures HD video, the new front-facing FaceTime camera with better low-light illumination. And for the first time, dual microphones for better audio capture as well as Siri voice recognition. All this performance, this thinner and lighter design, and it still delivers amazing all-day ten hour battery, battery life. life that our customers love. The new iPad Air comes in silver and white and space gray what? and black. And like all of our products, it's made incredibly environmentally friendly. The new iPad Air will replace our top of the line full-size iPad. Start at the same, just $499 for 16 gig Wi-Fi config and with cellular technology, $629. I told you space gray and black. And we have an iPad 2. It's available at $399. We're going to keep that there because there are a lot of customers that like getting access to a full-size iPad at just $399. So this is our full-size lineup, iPad 2 at $399, iPad Air at $499. iPad Air will start shipping very shortly, November 1st, in a huge list of countries around the world. You'll notice one country for the first time on our, on our, on our Wave 1 list, China, will get the new iPad Air with Wi-Fi right at the start with the rest of these countries. This is our probably biggest leap forward ever in a full-size iPad. And we have a video to tell you a little bit more about it. We're often faced with a paradox when we design mm, to make don't. products smaller and lighter while at the same time, more powerful. So there we go, there's the more a new iPad. They didn't mention the iPad Mini, they're still time to. The more difficult it to. becomes to increase its power and maintain its battery life. But if we can uh -huh. overcome these challenges, we can make something see it without compromise. iPad Air is just 7.5 millimeters thin and weighs only one pound. We actually started work on this product. It's really years nice. Ago designing and engineering the primary technologies that would be necessary shiny. to make it. The new A7 chip is incredibly powerful. Yeah, they didn't mention touch, very I mentioned touch ID. Because of this efficiency, the battery could get smaller, yet critically without any loss in battery life. And of course, by reducing the battery size, the product became significantly lighter. We reduced the dimensions of the bezel with less mass the iPad Air still retains its structural rigidity. There's a simplicity to it, but there's nothing precious about it. This integrity, this durability, inspires confidence in a product that's meant to be taken places, handled, and really used. With the iPad, there's no you fingerprint set up the scanner. Redefined mobile computer. They did, or at least they haven't said Up anything until about now, it. 64-bit architecture was something you'd normally only find in desktop computers. The new Apple-designed A7 chip brings 64-bit technology, all of its advanced computing and graphics, to this ultra-portable one-pound device. It's really nice. It only weighs a pound. This added processing power, iPad Air still has an impressive 10-hour battery life. They pretty much cut the weight like a third. Third. iPad Air is the first iOS device to support MIMO, or multiple in, multiple out. And it actually delivers twice the data transfer rate as the previous generation. And there's support for more LTE bands than on any other tablet. Because with a device this thin and powerful, you'll want to take it anywhere and always stay connected. We've also improved the FaceTime and iSight cameras, adding new processors and sensors, so you get much clearer, sharper images. It's a 64 bit iPad now with the A7 iOS chip. iOS 7 is essential to the iPad experience. It's at the core of everything you do with iPad Air. 
And we're now making iMovie, iPhoto, GarageBand, Keynote, Pages, and Numbers available for free. Because we believe that with these amazing apps on this amazing device, the possibilities of what you can create are limitless. The iPad has always been a tool defined by the ways people actually Johnny use Ives. it. The iPad Air is so capable and powerful, and yet with its breakthrough size and weight, it's the thinnest, lightest, and also the most advanced iPad we've ever built. So there you go. iPad Air. <laughs> kind of weird they called it that, I think. Because what are they going to call the next one? The so iPad this, Air 2? The are they going to stop making it thinner? <laughs> you know? Let's talk about iPad Mini. There we go, iPad Mini time. iPad Mini has been a big Here hit with customers because it delivers the complete iPad experience complete in an even experience. smaller design, 7.9 inch. It lets you do all the things that you love to do with iPad. You surf the web, do your email, make FaceTime calls, read books, watch movies, and use all those hundreds of thousands of Are they going to call the new one the customers iPad Mini Air? The complete iPad experience oh, the iPad Mini delivers. And the one most requested feature to add to iPad Mini Retina. It's a beautiful retina yes. display. And that's what we're going to do. Yes. Today. It's a 7.9 inch retina display that's 2048 by 1536 pixels. The same number of pixels as an iPad Air. So it runs all wow. the same software. When you use it for everything you do from looking at photos, where the pixels are so small that you can't see the individual ones at a normal distance, or text as sharp as the finest printed newspaper or magazine. The experience is just amazing. And the new iPad mini with retina display is also powered by this brand new A7 chip with its 64-bit wow. architecture. The iPad mini gets A7 chip. a huge chip. jump in performance for iPad mini. Up to four times faster at CPU tasks and up to eight times faster at graphics tasks. You're gonna feel performance across everything you do that's so fast. And still that great all day. So I don't think it's getting the motion car processor. The iPad mini with retina display also gets the yeah, it looks two like times they faster Wi-Fi with MIMO antennas. It gets the expanded LTE support for more carriers around the world. It has everything you love about iPad, a five megapixel iSight camera, the new FaceTime HD camera. It comes in silver and white and space gray and black. Same colors. And the new iPad mini with retina display will be priced at just $399. That's for 16 gigs with Wi-Fi and 529 with cellular technology. $399. It'll be available later in November. And we're going to keep the original iPad mini in the line as well. Because as you know, it starts well, at just $329. But what we're going to do is at the same time lower the price of that iPad mini to just $299. All right, so the... All right, so the price of it is uh, three ninety nine for the That's iPad the Mini with Retina yet Display. For an iPad giving you a full iPad experience for under three hundred dollars. And so here's what our lineup will look like going into the holidays. You'll have iPad Mini starting at two ninety nine, iPad Mini with Retina Display at three ninety nine, a full size iPad two at three ninety nine, and the brand new iPad Air at four ninety nine. Just an incredible lineup, unlike anyone else has in the industry, something amazing at every price point. Now, in addition to that, customers love protecting their iPad with covers and cases. Right. So we have new ones of those, too. We have a brand new iPad cover made of polyurethane. It works for both the iPad mini and the new iPad Air. It comes in these beautiful colors for just $39 each. And there's the iPad case that protects the front and the back with a beautiful leather case in these amazing colors. It's $79 on iPad Air and just $69 for iPad Mini. And both the cover and the case come in gorgeous product red versions as well. Kind of let down there's no M7 so chip in the new iPad the Mini. New iPad Mini with its retina display and the all new generation iPad Air. Now let me turn it back to Tim. All right. So, 
kind of interesting what they did to the names. iPad Air, iPad Mini Retina. Products. Just didn't the expect the, weeks, the iPad Air. Had our largest iPhone mm. launch ever. So now he's going to talk about iPhone. The iPhone 5C and the forward-thinking iPhone 5S. These are the best smartphones in the market. And we launched iOS 7. Yeah, I think they're about to wrap the up. The biggest change to iOS since the original iPhone with its bold new design and great new features. And just today, the new MacBook Pros with stunning Retina displays. Yeah, he's recapping everything. All right, so I've got to buy that new Mac Air. Or not Mac, uh, MacBook Mac Pro Retina. Pro, jaw-dropping, radical. And new iPads. It's the most powerful Mac we've ever shipped. The Apple Store has just went down. Of our Pro desktop. And of course, oh, all yeah, of our has Macs been, actually. have run with OS X Mavericks, the most advanced desktop operating system we also announced new versions of so just recapping everything that he announced. OS 10 and no iOS. new iPods. I think I think the iPods are dying. Be prouder of both new iPads. The iPad Mini with Retina display. And the only thing they could update about them is new cameras, new specs, stuff like that. iPad Air. We're so excited about the new. IPads but I think they got new stuff coming out that's going to replace cool that. New ad. That I'd like to run so you're going to show an ad for the new uh, iPad. I'll go ahead and pull that up for you. It's an extremely simple tool, but also extremely powerful. It can be used to start a poem or finish a symphony. It has transformed the way we work, learn, Create, share. It's used to illustrate things, solve things, and think of new things. It's used by scientists and artists, scholars and students. It's been to classrooms, boardrooms, expeditions, even to space. And we can't wait to see where you'll take it next. Introducing the thinner lighter, more powerful iPad Air. These amazing products are great examples of the type of innovation that only Apple could deliver. This is what we mean by designed by Apple in California. Other companies would be incredibly proud to just have one of these products. But we couldn't be more pleased to be able to present all of them to you in time for the holidays. I'd like to thank all of the people at Apple that worked so hard so both in new bringing iPads are all of these the products to life. Right? It's a privilege of a lifetime where work alongside yeah, it looks like it's wrapping of up. all of these folks. We have a hands-on area for the press, and I would encourage and you to looks get like your hands that's on about these it, products. I think. They're fabulous. Thank you for joining us. There we go. That is the Apple event. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, switch my camera back over to uh, better looking. There we go. All right, so that was the Apple event. Uh, sorry, it started out as me talking about it. I didn't expect to be able to actually show the stream, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to try my best to do the recap video of the event, but as you may have heard, I've got some stuff going on in the house. I'm not at my house right now in my office. There's, there's remodeling going on in the house. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to do a recap video. Uh, let me know in the comments of this uh, what you guys I thought about they announced. I'm not too overly impressed with what they announced. It's it, it wasn't something that like surprised me. They pretty much covered stuff they've already announced, um, like re recovered it again, and then also announced the new iPads, a new iPad Mini with the Retina display, uh, which is just called iPad Mini Retina. A price drop on the previous iPad Mini, which is nice because it's still uh, a really good iPad. You're just getting that extra Retina display. Plus, it's got the A7 chip. I'm let down though that it doesn't have the M7 chip. That's kind of weird. They didn't put the M7 chip in the new iPad Mini, but they did put it in the new iPad uh, Air. I want to call it the iPad 5. And 
the iPad uh, Air. I also got the A7 chip, a 64-bit. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the uh, Apple event. Uh, stay tuned. This will obviously be live up on my YouTube channel, so if you watch it after the fact, make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, youtube.com slash Uh You can do so probably by clicking the link down below the video if you haven't already. Stay tuned. One of these new iPads are out on November 1st. I will be getting these um, and, of course, doing videos on it for you guys, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that, again, to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will probably, most likely, because I've been waiting on it, get the new MacBook Pro Retina. Uh, Got to decide between 13-inch and 15-inch, and, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get the new Mac Pro, uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Mavericks is out today, so I'm going to download that uh, and update once I get done with all my videos, because i got to do that first. So you may see in the next couple days or whatever, uh, or maybe even on probably Thursday, a video on some of the new features of Mavericks. Um but stay tuned. Everything that they announced, uh, I'm going to do my best to cover. And uh, looks like that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream now uh, so I can get to working on my recap video, which I'm going to try my best to do. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, this is awkward ending. Bye. Now I have to figure out how to end this thing. Well, let's see. All right. There we go. Stop streaming. All right. See you guys uh, in the next one. Again, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Peace.